Dungeons and Dorkheads is brought to you by Green Man Gaming. Head down to the link below to help head out productions and get some great deals on video games. Not only that, but the show is also available in podcast form. That link is also down below. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is May 13th on a Wednesday here at Head to Productions. Half of us still don't have our stimulus checks. We are still on lockdown. And I hope that you listening to this video when it comes out is not on lockdown. I am potentially getting a promotion. So I don't, get any, any, I don't get any actual. Texas increase. stop quarantine because we're retards. Yeah. I don't get any increase. I just get job security, which is pretty good, all right by my standards. It's been Woo. Fun. All right, awesome. Welcome back, everybody. Sorry we had to take that that time off in the middle there. What do you mean? Long delay. That's right. Yeah, the audience wouldn't know. Okay. I haven't uploaded a single one of these because yeah, we're still waiting I, on yeah. the art. Fair, fair. All right. Well, so we're let's uh let's let's do a quick summary of where we left off. So last time, we left off with the party outside of the warehouse where the target is located. Um, currently, we're sitting in front of an air vent, and the air vent, as it stands, is only big enough to hold one pony at a time. Wait, what? So we're, like, we're, in, we're, in, we're, in, we're in front of the vent at the warehouse where the target's located. The objective no, I, of the no, mission hold, is... No, I understand, but we're, we're, we're at all that. But one at a time? Is it yeah. Like a, is it like three feet long? <laughs> no, it's... Well, okay, you could technically fit but more the, than one the you know, I've been in. thinking about this for but two the weeks. Wait. I guess the weight, yeah, is what they're talking about. But like, what if we get oh, okay? Wait. So, so you're saying if we go through the vent and come out of the other side, someone else could follow through. Yes. Okay. You know There's, what? Well, you don't know what's inside the vent yet. A better description would probably That's be right. you can only hold one at a time rather than only fits because the way you said it, it sounds like it's a three feet long vent, and we'd be squint. We'd try to be squishing up against each other like cats if we all went in. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I. I it it can it can hold one at a time you guys were a, the you guys were perceptive enough to understand that it could hold one at a time yeah it was... has a degree in building infrastructure <laughs> well it's not a new building that's for sure all right taking in this new information well let's see Marcel can't go because he's too fucking fat okay i'm not that dummy thick we said, Look at I your said, dummy thick ass. You have way more than all of us, probably. Actually, wait. Marcel, what's your body? The same. What, what is it? What's zero. It's, it's zero? Size is zero. I Lydia. Think. Yeah, my Lydia. size is zero because the Pegasi are, like, smaller. Well, yeah, no. What I, what I meant was, like, what is your body? That indicates, like, how tough you are, how bulky you are. I'm oh, not shit, that well, bulky. Am I bulkier than Marcel? Because I have a body of two. What a size no, of zero. I think, my, bo wait. my body's two. Oh, okay. okay. I think you said your body was zero. Like, wait, am I bulkier no, than No, I him? meant size. My yeah. size is zero. Lydia casually, Which is the average. Lydia casually glances over at Marcel and is like, Damn, badass. What did, did you say? Did I hear a damn? <laughs> She's just muttering under her breath, Damn, badass. <laughs> just muttering about my thick ass like you only just noticed. Like, we're trying to yeah, decide that thing. <laughs> to go into that vent. L Lydia's just over here like, damn. Confirm <laughs> that ass be dummy thick, though. My dummy thick man ass. Dummy thick adds 2,000 pounds of weight. 
Just right. in a wow. Where the white man's bar at? over there, like my ass isn't a fucking Tonka truck. What well, the? There's one right over there. Built okay. Tonka tough though. <laughs> Just in a bar talking to some random person. Have you seen that ass? Oh, come on. It can't be that. Jesus, you're right. <laughs> that Dude. ass is Tonka Truck Tub. <laughs> Being the it. sneakiest Tony, I, I, I volunteer to go first to go scope it out. All right, is everybody in agreement? Yeah. By all means, my dude. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you want me to reroll stealth or not? Um, I'm going to say roll stealth. Just to see right. what's going to happen. Just, just so I can get a, just so I can get a taste. I remember how the fuck my stealth thing work? As you roll, um, oh, disguise is not going to matter on your stealth roll. Yeah, it's just stealth. Yeah. Tony, just... why are you fucking up in the vents? I, I could just take a fucking five on that. How <laughs> funny would that be, though? <laughs> He could probably actually bullshit his way out. I saw a fucking rat up here. I'm trying to kill it. <laughs> he Jesus. does hate There's rats. a fucking rat. <laughs> but he then he does have to specify which rat right he now. means. The actual one or like a you pony like one, a... you know? Just gunfire. Anyway, yeah. Um, you mean an animal yeah, or a yeah. knock? <laughs> T Tommy bet me I couldn't fit here. He says my ass is too big. <laughs> You're, you take my average on this. <laughs> okay, so you took your average of five. Okay. So, mm -hmm. so Foe, looking at the vent, is rather small. He takes his hooves and kind of jimmies at the, the grate on the outside, and it comes off and with a very muffled metallic clang as it hits the dirt. He crawls the inside, and the rest of the party can hear a muffled... Doom of foe shimmying his way through. Lydia questions is, if this you is could, ASMR. I'll consider it scud scuttling, scuttering, <laughs> scuttling, skittering. You hear inside actually. All right, it's it's like a little more metallic, just like. Lydia, can start like just scratching the vent. All right, so foe, as you're going along, you come across. Great after great that look down into different rooms. Right. From the angle you're at, it's pretty difficult to actually know what you're looking at. And as you continue to go through the duct system, you come to a fork that has a left and a right. Down the left corridor, you can see a a vent that ends in a that ends in a like a like a dead end but it's bigger. And you figure that you could probably see into that room from that vent. The other way continues down with another vent, but has two other bends. Which direction do you want to go? Do you redescribe the big one to me? I'm trying to, I'm trying to visualize this. So, so, there's, so to the end. left, there is a dead end about 10 feet down from you. Right. And below that is a grate. It's a much bigger grate than the ones you've seen before. So it's letting in a lot of light, and you, can and you know that you can definitely see into that room if you got up to that grate, but where you're standing, you can't see anything. So the dead end goes physically down, or do you mean down? No, down? It, it goes to that grate. Like, right. there's a grate there just in the bottom of the ve ventilation, and then there's a dead end right there. Right. And it goes no farther. So it's about 10 feet, great, it's letting light in, and then nothing else. Mm. And then the other side, it goes down for about 15 feet. And there's a couple of small grates that, again, you can look through, but you can't really, like, you can't really decipher what's below them. And then there's two forks that go off from the right path. Lydia okay. reads her book. As well go to the left path and check out that first grate. All right, so Foe's gonna go down to the the left grate. Okay, rest of the party. As you begin to hear the uh, the echo of Foe's little scuttle motions, uh, quiet down from the pipe as he gets further into the complex. Uh, roll perception, somebody. Sure. I'm gonna do it. I got good perception. I'm pretty sure. I got Me good too. perception, though. 
Just okay. just roll. You know, but just you know roll. mine's best. Just roll it. Oh, I got a three, and two of them are eight. I'm so lucky. That is a three. One. That's also three. a three. A three. Yikes. Yeah, and my perception is usually... Whoops, good. I forgot to put it as Marcel. <laughs> Just progressively. So <laughs> <laughs> put our dicks out. Here's my... Well, here's my... Funk. <laughs> Damn it! Wow, are you kidding They're me? They're all three! <laughs> and yet he still right. gets three. Nobody notices a thing. I'm... Rolls all dice, gets fucking nothing. It's uh, fine. <laughs> Lydia reads her book. Oh all no, right. it's a guard. So... Um. Uh, so, mm -hmm. Flo. Yes. The party didn't notice any. Well, it's, it doesn't matter. Okay, so you, you're still, you're in the vent. You're going down to the left path. So you very quietly s scuttle your way over to this vent, and you look down, and in the room you see three figures. One of them is a rather large Clydesdale, all brown fur black hair in a very fine suit. He's smoking a cigar and sitting in a very big gold embroidered chair. Ooh, okay. You figure that's gotta be the guy. There's no way it couldn't be, right? Right. Yeah. And oh, then, I'm looking down at basically, right? Yes, you're looking down into the room and you can see the three figures. The first one the closest to you, so you're you're like just behind this guy's head, but you know in the roof. Right. As you can see him, he's sitting in a chair smoking a cigar. He's behind a desk, and in front of that desk is a rather twitchy, kind of ragged-looking hooded figure. You can't really make out what it is, but you know that it's kind of twitchy, and the, its tail is kind of eh, it's. Kind of hooded is in like wearing a hood, or his head is covered with a hood. Like his head bag. is covered with a hood. So like a bag. Basically, yeah. Burlap sack of the head. Yeah, it's basically it's a burlap sure. sack. He's got, he's got, he's got a thing yeah. on his head. He's not just wearing. He's not just and edgy. Okay. The figure is twitchy. You do know it's not a pony. And then the other figure is a very intimidatingly huge griffin. All black feathers, falcon in origin. He's taking up twice the space that the very large Clydesdale is. Yeesh, okay. And as you listen, you can hear the muffled pleas from the hooded figure. And then the Clydesdale from behind his desk taps his cigar out after he blows out a plume of smoke and rather rather quietly says <clears throat> no I'm done covering for you guys you made a mess of my house you made a mess of my family you made a mess of my job now I got a cover for your asses now I got the cops asking for triple what they wanted and I'm, I'm all out of hospitality. And the muffled, the muffled pleas go into broken sobs as the Griffin silently takes one of its huge claws and just picks the creature up and carries it out of the room. And the door slams behind him. And then the Clydesdale goes back to his paperwork, essentially. Enjoying his cigar and reading whatever it happens to be reading. Looks like a newspaper. Right. And that is the end of that scene. That is what you saw. Spooky. Alright, what do you want to mm -hmm. do now? Gonna... So, horse thinking. 
There's a couple of ways that this could go. There's a couple of ways that this could go down. I'll I'll tell you what you can see in front of her. So in front of you, that grate that you see. Mm -hmm. So it's behind the guy. And you can see that it's bolted into the ceiling. Do you have thief's tools? Yes. Yeah. You could yes. feasibly take that grate out and get into the room if you wanted. And then what? <laughs> I'm just saying, this is the easy one. I'm you I that, like, yeah, I, I, I and can then unlock what? the vent. We could, can we could vent. do that, but why? I could unlock the vent. I just have to figure out how I'm going to get the fat ass into the vent or else go into the factory. I think I'm going to want to go check out the other vents. All right, so you're going to attempt to turn around? Yeah. All right. No, uh, I'm gonna scuttle. Just scuttle backwards. Yeah, okay, okay. I was gonna. No way okay. we're getting that guy through the vent. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna have you re roll stealth. Still, no. Beep. Beep. <laughs> I, are you gonna. Beep. Beep. <laughs> I'm gonna have you re roll stealth. The DC you have is eight. So I'm gonna have you roll. Okay. <laughs> I thought he was going average. I'm saying that the DC for him to beat is 8, because he's right above the guy and in a metal grate. Eep. Is the guy, like, looking up? No. He's looking down. But the room is quiet. Yeah, it's quiet now. Hmm. What? <laughs> okay, let's, um... Okay, here. I know, that's okay, I'm just looking at my stuff. I'm, um... Staring at my things, and making sure I have everything just in case I had like one extra thing on me, just to could. No, okay, easily. Here. No, we're I, good. Okay. I, I might have explained it poorly because it. You, <laughs> if you have a better option, you. I could take a better. Tell option. me, come on, like. I know. I'm just looking at my stuff right now, quickly. Yeah, think, think of a solution to the problem. I need to sneak out of this. You need to sneak out of the situation. Me. You're right above this guy. You're in a metal grate, and your previous stealth roll is not going to get you out of it without being noticed in some way. I have new magic. I am a horse. I have only <laughs> stealth. Um, you are best. I have a gun. Uh, uh, gun. Mm, yes, you have gun. gun. No. <laughs> Still got your disguise, though. Yeah. Um... I feel like this disguise use would be a bit of a mistake for some reason. I am merely a horse attempting to sound like the wind <laughs> <laughs> while scuttling backwards, doing like whoosh noise. I'll <laughs> 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 make the whoosh noise like, whoosh. while still doing stealth. <laughs> this whoosh. And Tommy's fucking around in the vents again, probably thought he saw something. <laughs> Um, so yeah, uh, what do you want to do? Precisely as I've laid out, slowly reverse through the vent while making a very quiet, windy noise. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, roll against a DC-8. Yay. <laughs> One, One, two, two three, three, four, four five, six, wow. seven, eight. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Holy crap. Wow. Good <laughs> job. So, Fo, seeing the imminent danger that he's in, harnesses the power of stealthiness inside of him and very slowly scuttles away. <whistles> the Don heard nothing. <laughs> And now you're back at the fort. That was really horse. And I'm assuming whoosh. you're gonna go the other way, so you yeah. have about a 15 foot journey. All right, the rest of the party, as you're standing outside in the dark, you're keeping an eye out for any ne'er do wells, any guard patrols that could be coming this way. Uh, lo and behold, nobody was paying attention to the cops, and one of the cops comes up to the party and holds uh, yes uh sorry i was rolling i have a i have a table uh 
It's fucking, it was 16. That would be Lydia. Holds Lydia at gunpoint. What? Why? <laughs> You're reading a book so suspiciously. Sorry, who's holding Lydia at gunpoint? The cops. Apparently. A cop. One oh. of the cops. And everybody turns to look as Lydia is being held at gunpoint by a uniformed police officer. It's just the one, and it looks like he's alone. Okay. <laughs> just okay. <laughs> what are you doing here? I don't know you as any of... I don't know you as any of Tony's boys. Uh, Octi, just real quick question. Is there a light above me? He he pushes the gun. Cl Wait, oh, sorry, you're you're asking me. Yeah, is there a light above me? Uh, there's a light above the vent, not directly above you. Okay. So okay. I would say you're about 15 feet from a light. Okay. Um, hi, yeah. I'm new. So, and as you say that, he pushes the gun a little bit closer to your head. He's just like, you be quiet right now. And he turns to the rest okay. of the party. What are you doing here? We're sitting around. What does it look like? What's it on guard duty? Two guys just disappear and we're here replacing them. Uh, okay. Um, we're off because they're bitches. That was good. Uh, what are you going to roll for that? Am I gonna roll for that? Yeah, I'm gonna have to have you roll. Non cute for that. bluff, obviously. You're going to roll. Uh, I'm gonna have to say, yeah, bluff. So yeah, it's roll not bluff. that I'm gonna try intimidating him. It might not be the best idea. Stop resisting. So roll your. That is the bluff. wrong one. That was the wrong one. That is so wrong. I I did the one on the right, not the left. Got it. Twenty one. <laughs> got 21. That's an odd. <laughs> oh, Fuck. darn. But the actual rolls are even. Anyway. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's a good roll. Out of 11? That's above average. I That's think. good, yeah. That would be 5, though. Hmm. That's gonna do it. He low he he starts to lower the gun, saying, "Huh? What? What? What do you? What do you mean, gone? The I mean they ran off. Rumor has it they got spooked by something, some monster, or whatever. But we've been out here for a while now, and I even see no monster. Probably dumbass is making excuses to go off and drink or something. Ah, okay. And she's he he holsters." He holsters his gun. Where, 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 uh, where, where, where would they have gone? I mean, you think I fucking know? Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> yes, because uh... holding, yes, because holding us at gunpoint was perfectly acceptable up to this point. Oh, okay. shut up! <laughs> All right, look, I'm sorry. I just know that Tony is a very demanding guy, and if. I had not performed my civic duty to come over and check out the the happenings on over here that I may have gotten a sharp pay cut. Mm. Kind of Respectable, me. but your duties have been fulfilled. I I absolutely okay. You know I'm just you know I'm just gonna go and see. And <laughs> that would be best. All right, I'm gonna head out. <laughs> and he goes back. Have a nice night, sir. And he goes back. Over to the police formation. Okay, I'll be real. That was probably the most honest to God, like, on the fly bluff that I could have done for Betty. Because I was barely even in it. I just pulled shit out of my ass. That's how bluffs work. Like, the point of a bluff is for you to pull something out of your ass, but to be like, convincing enough with that bullshit. Like, there to, wasn't a to lot make of... it sound real. Normally, with a lot of stuff, I overthink it a lot, and I plan it out in my head beforehand. Just like, oh yeah, he's probably gonna ask this, so I'm gonna say that. Now, that was just me thinking, uh, yeah, we're replacements because there are two guys here. Yeah. 
doing fucking doing their job. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, what would, they do? what would they do if they ran off? Uh, probably make an excuse to drink. Yeah, that makes sense. So that way I don't have to actually convince them. Yeah, there was a literal monster here. <laughs> Craziest shit I've ever seen. Just tipping my hand, showing you how both me and Betty barely were lucid in that whole situation. It was just a natural tick. Well, there you go. Thanks to Betty's natural resourcefulness and quit wittedness, she got Lydia out of getting her brains blown out. Why was the gun necessary? He's a new damn CR cop. I I, wa I walk up close to Lydia and I was too. This this is for call the cops. That that's why he pointed the gun at you. That was free. This is book. this is karmatic fate. It's a book. What am I gonna do? Hit him with it? You're not supposed to do anything. You're supposed to let the grown ups talk in these kind of situations. I hope you understand. This what you do is you shoot gun at people. I actually do talk to I think. Uh, the universe says no. I think. The universe says no. How old your, is stat, your stat alignment, unfortunately, does not allow you to be as, uh, like how do you say, eight ball. persuasive. No. How old is Lydia again? Fuck, I think I said late 20s. Yeah. Did you say 30? Did I? I'm pretty sure you said 30 something. No, I'm 30. I'm. I'm also. Well, 30. I'm not 30. I'm 30, like six. Yeah, you're like in that middle. Like, I'm 36. Getting close to middle I think age. I said yeah. 28. Me and Marcel are middle age. I feel like I would say 28. So yeah, Petty's your older. Respect your older. Are you looking at your character sheet, Hunter? Yeah. What are we I, I think there's an age section for that. Yeah, there literally is an age section. You know the age of your pony. Wait, there is where. I was gonna say there is. There isn't one. Yeah, where? What? Yeah, there is an A section. So if you thought that yeah, from my I speech, found it in her it history. In. She's 27. I just wrote it next to my guy's race, just because. I haven't yeah. been anywhere. I just remember because I'm that good. found it in her history. She's 27. Here, I'll put mine in there. My horse is older than yours. I'm 30. So Lydia's the baby of the group, huh? Yep, you're the baby. To... I went to college. Baby. She's baby. <laughs> and I went to school, too. I went to numerous places, oh, none of which I'll tell out. you. I'm a high school dropout. <laughs> nice. Wait, oh, Butterfeathers. So... What? You're, you're a high school dropout? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you sounded so sad. It's your <laughs> dropout. I just, I'm just surprised. <laughs> I, I forgot about that. Well, you didn't, I didn't really mention it. It's just something I came up with on the spot. <laughs> just like, maybe you'll probably be a dropout. Like, yeah, I'm a dropout. Perfect. Quite yeah, literally, I fell off of the roof of the building. I'm to be the greatest detective the world has ever known. Well, if she was in, if she stayed in school, she would be a police officer. Hey, man, whatever happened. A police detective. She's a freelance investigator. Because of capitalism, she can do that. Because capitalism allows... She doesn't need a degree or a license. People just pay her. And it's just like, yes, you trust me. <laughs> you can see why she has to work mm, in the bottom up. Trust. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Horses are gonna die. <laughs> so congratulations. Crisis averted. Good job. Very swift. Now, foe. Yeah. You have reached the fork in the road. And... To the right, again, you see... I... Well, actually, hold on. Let me, Straight let me ahead, double check. Traffic. I have a, I have a fucking map in my hand. I gotta make sure I know where you are. Like I'm a, You only the... took one turn, but I gotta make sure I'm doing this right. I'm like so... at the original fork, right? Basically, no. Uh, you're at the original fork. No, no, you're not. You're at the fork on the left. So when you went <laughs> in, there was the fork. Oh my then God. there was that fork on the left. You went uh, on the right. You went down that one. Why are there so many oh, forks so in here? Oh, so the boss's office was to the right. The boss's office was to the left. It was. You're left. going okay. to the right now, and so okay. now you are at another set of forks. Wait, so I skipped past the entrance fork? Yeah, you just you went like you were you okay. went, dude. Okay, but what, what does this set of forks look like? So this set of forks that you are at now. Mm-hmm. Or uh, they go straight handle. off to the right and left. Both of them have big, uh, 
both of them have big grates at the end, similar to the one at the boss's office, so mm -hmm. you can see through them. But they also have forks, uh, but they also have a turn going off to the left and right, respectively. So down the left, it's going to the right, and down the right, it's going to the left. Okay. I'm sketching this on my notepad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. I mean, this might as well go take the... Hmm. Take the right-hand one. You're going to take the right-hand one? Got and it. Look down the grate with snack mode engaged. All right. So he's going to go down... And he looks in there. And oh, so man. inside of this room, you see a bunch of worker ponies dressed in all white. Wait. Oh, sorry. Wrong room. <clears throat> hmm. Not all white. Uh, just in normal clothes. But they are obviously not mafia. Not mafia? Well... I don't See, believe you. Foe has got enough experience with the, with law enforcement to understand when mafia is involved and when not. And these are obviously not mafia. What do they they're, look like? They're basically just kind of regular old roadies walking around carrying barrels over their shoulders. They seem to be dealing with alcohol? Which seems odd, knowing this operation, but when you think about it, it is the mafia we're talking about here. Three. Like, alcohol is what gave them their name. Mm. So, you have stumbled across this branch of the Two Shoes Mafia's distillery. Hmm. And the distillery itself is pretty small, but definitely enough to supply like half of the city with counterfeit alcohol or sorry not counterfeit just bootleg shit moonshine i guess <laughs> moonshine moonshine rum stuff like that stuff that's easy yeah. to produce you can see sacks of flour in the corner right. sorry not flour sugar god you can see big column sugar. stills and yeah it's a room full of non-combatants just kind of walking around doing their job Hmm. That is what you can see. You cannot see the whole room, though. Just a small, just a small section of it. You can see, you know, like like all a wall almost. So I can see basically just from this perspective of me looking at the vent from my angle, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what you see in the room. Okay. Um, can I move on or towards the night? Uh, you are free to move on, go back, uh, try the other vent. You can, you're free. Hmm. Fo oh, will attempt to take the left from here. So, okay. the left at this vent's fork. The left. <laughs> okay. So, from this vent, I'm looking at go left from there. Because you said, like, if I take the right hand one, then there's a left. So, yeah. Yeah. Let me. Um, give me one second. I need to do a small amount of research. Bo is a horse. Bo oh, is a Tony. I'm, I'm, I'm drawing for <laughs> I'm a Tony. I'm a Tony. Oh! I'm a Tony. Betty, I'm a Tony. Mm. No, stop. stop. Tony! <laughs> but B, what are you going to do about all these... Well, all these what? That I'm slowly drawing. <laughs> Why are there a bunch of forks? You're the one There's... drawing forks? Yeah. <laughs> but why though? There's so many forks in these vents! You're at this fork, that fork, this fork. <laughs> Alright. So many forks! So. Foe. Foe. Oh. As you are as you are crawling through the vent, you can hear the not so distant bang of something exploding. Damn. It sounds um. like it sounds like glass and some other viscous material just kind of <laughs> exploded. 
and then you can hear the 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 frantic orders of uh of a one pony is just like get that stuff cleaned up before it seeps all over the place and da 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 and everything just kind of descends in the chaos from there. Oh, fuck that the meth! I'm trying, boss, but it just keeps getting everywhere. And as you get closer to this vent, uh, New vent. As, as yes, as you get closer to the vent on the left, uh, yeah. you can see a very faint, viscous purple smoke rise up into the vent. Oh shit! I'm okay. going to need you to roll body. Oh. Oh no. Okay. Um, I'm gonna need, yes. like, I'm gonna need you to roll your reg your regular I roll body. That, I multiply that by two. Okay. Why? Yikes. This is basic. So. Uh. So. Due to the nature of the vent, foe cannot quickly back up nor can he resist the the wafting purple smoke that's coming towards him and his nasal passages are filled with the with that smoke and he begins to hallucinate oh no Fo, you understand the streets just about as good as betty and you've drugged. seen, and you've seen exactly here. what this stuff is before. You have just been dosed with salts. Yay! It is time to lay here. <laughs> please don't, please don't come out and eat us. You have, you have just been dosed with salts, and not just any salts, unrefined salts. <laughs> Yeet! <laughs> Yeet! So, fo, bad trip in the vents. I'm gonna need you to. I'm gonna need you to roll a willpower save. To not yeah. fucking put your shit and have a bad trip. <laughs> about that. Yeah. Oh, oh, come on. Okay. So, just, Fo? Just uh, check real quick. Could he beat that? Where did I. I have it written down here. He could have. Forking. B has been fucked up by four. You had it, it was just four, right? Like it was two, two, two times yeah. two. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you is could... a regular willpower horse. Yeah, you you could have beaten that if you got all evens. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so fall. Unfortunately, like you have been dosed with unrefined salts and are now catatonic. Twitching involuntarily in the vent. Fuck. Well. Is there anything? So, since Ooh. you're catatonic, we're gonna cut to the rest of the party. Does it come out of the vent to where we can see it? Catatonic. The re so, the rest of the party sitting here trying to look their best like mafia goons <laughs> and yes, uh, i'll have yes. you know considering what she's doing for tommy betty is a mafia goon so Just, anything she does is already fitting that bill i'm going to have your characters describe exactly what they're doing for my entertainment so please how are you pretending to be like mafia goons uh, okay, so having seen very many mafia goons sit, you know, do their thing, she's this isn't her first mafia case. She's taken on at least two more, but she knows the ins and outs of it, you know. And so what she does is, she sits down and takes a fucking load off and relaxes because she knows mafia goons are just fucking dudes. <laughs> Look at these dudes. Look at these dudes. They don't For like me, I'd, I'd be standing relatively stoically. And just kind of making just idle movements with my head to like look around as though I'm keeping an eye out for whatever, but just stoically chilling there and just looking around. And Lydia, how about you? How Lydia are you is... trying to look like a mafia goon? Lydia is break dancing. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna actually. Uh, no, I'm if I was a, if I was an ass. Lydia can't break dance. Okay. You could try. 
the rifle is out. You can fail. The rifle is out, but it's like perched up against the wall right next to her, so that it looks like she has a gun ready, as a guard should. But she, but she's reading her book, man. Okay. Collectively, you guys look like the absolute worst guards in the history of the world. That's what I was going for. Just what a mafia dune should look like. Exactly. <laughs> Looking absolutely useless. Looking absolutely useless. Like the perfect picture, perfect Tony. So, as you guys are sitting, looking like super, really important guards, we swear... You see the purple wafts of smoke coming from the vent. What the fuck is that? Fuck it, salts. Uh, uh, fine. Betty can just know that. Yeah. Well, if Fo knows it offhand, Betty Fo would, would just to... know that. You know that. You're right. I wanted to have somebody be an idiot, but that's okay. So. Betty, you have confirmed the origin of that purple smoke is salts. And as you know, that purple smoke is very indicative of salts that were in production, which means that they still have a lot of impurities in it, making it potent and incredibly dangerous. Ah, shit. Is foe okay in there? No. Fuck. Hey, we can't go rescue him unless we want to be like him and probably knock the fuck out, losing his mind or whatever. So what I know, well, I ha we haven't heard salt. anything, so he's Did at least Betty not pay attention flipping to the his shit. Program. <laughs> yes, she one hundred percent pay attention to the dare program. Wait, would Betty actually have gotten access to a dare? Oh wait, wait, um, what the fuck? I have a question. Sorry, dare. That was a meme. I, I get it. Yeah. I have a question. Uh, yes, Lydia. You know how when he first went into the vent and it forked over to the boss's office? Yes. Would the smoke not be filling that room right now? It could be, but you wouldn't know. <laughs> he just making know sure you thought of it. He's just suddenly going catatonic in his office. Yeah, he's probably done to so many salt things. No, no, he sees the smoke and puts on his gas exactly. mask. That's why like the workers so are panicking. He's so out on it already. He just like, ah, what's that? What's oh, that? is that weak shit? <laughs> is that that weak <laughs> shit over there? I want to pay my, I want to pay a dollar for this shit. Yeah, why do you think he had such a rap, raspy voice? But yeah, I know we're kind of fucked. What, so, you guys happen what does the, the party want to do? Hand? What what does the party want to do? As as you know, Foe is somewhere in the ventilation system. Probably tweaking the fuck out. Probably tweaking the fuck out. Like considering the fact that he didn't get here before the fumes, it's like a hundred percent certainty. Or while we're sitting amongst ourselves like jackasses. Well, at the very least, he's probably not having a bad trip, otherwise we'd be hearing a lot of banging. Um, Does he have to man. mentally maintain that disguise? Uh, he wasn't disguised. Yes, he was. Yes. Oh, yeah. Foe. Uh, yeah, he's Fo, bad, you... <laughs> he's just full bug right now, because like he's been... catatonic. Because, like, if they find not functioning. Like, That's a good question. Him. You know what, Foe? I'm gonna leave that up to you. Is... Personally, I'd say that they'd be still, like, disguised if he just, like, passed the fuck out catatonic. Because that'd be pretty shit as a disguise of, like, okay, I'm gonna take a nap, and then, yeah. oh no, I'm a yeah. bug again. It does well, stick when you're napping. Thing, like, is, this is, is like, the image. actual disguise, like, a body morph thing where it physically changes you, or is it an illusion? Um... But I thought when they do that, it's a body morph. Well, that's what I'm like, asking. I'm asking B. B knows more. I haven't actually like figured that out. From what I've been <laughs> seeing here, it basically is for all intents and purposes, except for damage resistance. So okay, that's fair. So it's like and, a kite morph. And so I guess and, maybe it has to be. He has to sensibly like choose like, to no longer be in it or like not. Hands, kind of thing. hands. Got it. But otherwise, like, yeah, for all intents and purposes, it is a shapeshift. It's just, you just a clinking Tony in the fucking vent. <laughs> Alright, perfect. Okay, so, no. Tony, why are you tweaking it in the vent? 
I saw, I thought I saw a rat, I but then I, you guys fucked I up. I thought I saw a bitch. <laughs> Pull me at the mouth. <laughs> damn it, a fucking guy. God damn it. Somebody get him out of there, and they get the fucking ladders and shit. As long as the shit. actual person who, like, <laughs> runs shit doesn't come to us, we could probably convince all the guys that were just mafia members that were hired on. Just, like, suddenly. It'd be great if we, like, go in there and we think he's being fucking waterboarded, but really, he's just a Tony and they're trying to splash water on him to help him out. Like, yo, come on, come on, make it through this! You got this, Tony, you got this! Uh, Lydia starts wrapping up her gun. Alright, uh, that's, that's gonna take quite a bit of time. Because we have to have a task like, half a minute. Just leave Lydia so, out there. To, like, properly wrap the gun. You said it took two minutes. Does it? Yeah, two minutes. Okay, maybe I did say two minutes. That seems reasonable. Yeah, I don't I'm got fucking fingers! <laughs> yeah, two minutes. Sorry. Yeah, because you didn't take hands! Lydia, Lydia, if you Get still- this, you fools! If you still want Lydia to wrap the gun, go ahead. Yeah, never mind. She doesn't wrap the gun. She's okay. carrying the fucking gun. Okay, so I'm going to reiterate. Foe is in the vent still. <laughs> Yes, it's not like we have... can go in! Do you fuckers have a gas mask? No. I checked my inventory. No, I don't. God fucking damn it. Of course not. Fucking God damn it. So okay, how it. often are fucking gas masks needed, dude? I haven't ha needed to use one in so fucking long. Granted, often, I wear one enough. every day at work, but still. Uh, what would the party like to do? Well, okay, well, I was gonna continue to tweak. Fo no, no, I'm Fo just gonna tweak for over all here. intents and purposes. Foe is out of combat. Like he's fucked. He's he's non-functioning in the vent. Basically, so for for the uh, all the non okay, Oxy, I, d d d can I use one of my knowledges or whatever to know how good would just like wrapping my face up in my trench coat would be? How would that help preventing it, you know? What field Start, of right? knowledge do you have? Well, I can roll all of them. I'm just asking which one's relevant. No, you have... What field of knowledge do you Wait. have? Do you have them all? Did you train oh. every field of knowledge? Like, you could probably roll... Never mind. Do you think my medical would allow me to know? It, knowledge medical? Yeah, I have knowledge medical. To know the effects. I'd say yes. On the body. Streetwise, would that work being streetwise on this kind of stuff? Uh, streetwise would probably help you figure out potency just from looking at it. Yeah, you probably could figure out medical, more about it. Medical would probably be able to, to discern exactly what can out, protect. <laughs> like, figure out if you could get through it by covering your face or what you would need to do to. Or know, I could not... just do a, I could do a different thing. Uh. Uh, give me a roll. What do you, what do you want to do? Okay, so here's the problem. What the fuck are we gonna do once we're in there? That's a, you got to figure that out. You're, I you mean, get him out. What you guys are trying to get foe out, right? That's what you're yeah, trying to do. Our goal is to get him out. That's that's your goal. Is you're trying to get him out of the vents? Obviously. Yeah, we're trying to rescue him, get him out of there. Okay. And I want to, because I want to be able to take care of him. If he's fucking, like, completely tweaked out of his mind, he's going to need help. What's Marcel's body? My body is two. Yeah, Marcel's body is two. Shit. Okay, what's Lydia's body? Two. Okay, what's our strengths? Three. Two. <laughs> and my willpower is three. Or so what's your stealth at? My what? Your stealth. My stealth. Where is that? My Six. stealth is a total of three. Alright, alright. Sh 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 <clears throat> all right. I mean, your friend's dying. <laughs> hey, he's tweaking. He's probably not dying. You don't know that. <laughs> he's probably okay. Oh, actually, because nobody's nobody's rolled anything yet. Like, I'm oh. coming really up with a roll. fucking plan here, Octi. Okay, I yes, we have to save him, but we also don't want to get found out. Marcel, take my fucking trench coat, wrap it around your face. Well, let me do a knowledge check. 
Where? Would do that really involved. help? Just fucking do it. <laughs> like, like okay, even if we lost? know yes or no, if it would help. Wow. Okay. <laughs> got two. That's Might literally my. That's something. literally my avid average. Yeah. Average. All right. Uh. So. Okay, Marcel. From looking at the fumes. Um. You have identified them as salts. Betty understands that they're salts. You know that particulates that usually turn into smoke can typically be blocked if the fabric or whatever filter you have over your face has holes small enough to block those particulates. So in theory, if you had something that you could fold enough times to put over your face, you could protect Lydia, yourself. give me your gun wrap. Sure. <laughs> Lydia gives her the gun wrap, but not the rope parts, because she did not ask for those. Okay. I could yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap some rope around me. <laughs> I'm gonna MacGyver this shit. So of course I'm going to wrap the fuck out of my face. Alright. So roll for rapping. No. <laughs> so using your medical knowledge and your understanding. I look like, like a mummy. To, it's like you're going to wrap a Christmas present. Roll for wrapping job. Oh. When it comes to my wrapping job on Christmas presents, don't even that's it's a, bad. Okay, that's so, a two critical fail. You can so, still see the Xbox. <laughs> Hell <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> no, go. I'm sorry, keep going. Okay. <laughs> so, Marcel, uh, using your medical knowledge, uh, you jury rig a mask out of Lydia's gun wrap, folding it up like six times into like a thick, just covering to put over your nose and mouth and tie it around the back of your head. It's big enough that you can just barely fit it with all the folds that you made. But you do have a sufficiently blocking mask that you feel will protect yourself from the salt fumes. I'm kind of frantically pushing Marcel once he gets that finished. I'm just like, okay, go in there. Don't get caught. Unrelated question. If anyone, if any, if you do get caught, though, tell him that just that Tony Shriek tweaked out. You're trying to get him out of there. So he's tweaking. Unrelated. I can't tell. Go. Let's fucking save him. Okay. Obviously, I'm gonna go do that. Go, go. Sorry, what was that, Lid? What was that, Lydia? How long have we been standing here? Uh, you guys have been standing here. I'd say about a half hour or so. Okay. Like, like total, and... or while we're while coming up with our plan? Like total. <laughs> Thirty minutes of you him dying in the vent. <laughs> so it's just ODing in the vent right now. <laughs> no, I, 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 not what I meant. I meant since we got here. Yes, I know. <laughs> about 30 minutes. Okay. And I also give more salt and chin here. I'm just wondering what those for, cops should be leaving. Whenever you're trying to get him out so he doesn't get more salts in the system. What, what, uh, the trench coat? Yeah, my trench coat for foe to get him out so he doesn't inhale more and actually OD. That was a smart idea. Okay. Yep, sounds good. You give, uh, Marcel the trench coat. Mm-hmm. Marcel, are I you say ready? I'm going into the vent. All right. So, Marcel, is uh, what is your approach? Are you going to be going fast, or are you going to try to be methodical? Uh, more methodical. More methodical, okay. All right, so, Marcel, understanding the delicate situation that he is in, clambers into the vent and starts crawling, doing his absolute best not to make noise. He knows that his mask is going to protect him, so he makes every movement count, trying not to tip off the people below. All right. All right. How has this shit um, spread through the whole so, damn warehouse? So B, me, you are you are still catatonic. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's still fucked up. <laughs> you're still catatonic. Um, but. Because you're still breathing, I'm going to need you to make another body save. Okay. 
<laughs> okay. Um. It's the same exact role, so. Oh, nice. Oh. Great. Okay. No, your, a, your, body's a, four, your body's dude. holding up that's even four, though you're so bad. <laughs> your body's holding up even though your 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 system is still ingesting more of these unrefined salts. Neat. So you you are you're it's doing, doing it okay, but well. you're still unconscious. Yee. All right, Marcel. After that, uh, you reach the fork. Uh, you have two directions. You don't know which way. Yeah, I don't know which way. You don't know which way he's in. Because when... I'm going to pull a bit of a dick DM move. I kind of skipped over a bit of the labyrinth because he just wound up in a place. So, Marcel, I'm going to have you pick a direction, left or right. Well, wait a second. Let's think about this. The first time B went mm. through, we could see that the Let's... way on the left was a dead I'm end. I'm going to... You, you guys weren't looking in the vent, no. Yeah. B could see that the way on the left was a dead end. Why would Marcel not be able to see that the way on the left is a dead end? Because Marcel isn't actually at that point yet okay. in the complex. I wish horses could see. Otherwise, mm, we're in a fucking maze. I'm... <laughs> Fuck it, I'll, I'll just take a right. All right? Okay, Marcel, you take a right. You come to a fork and it goes to the left Right is a dead end. You're gonna take the left. Yeah, take you a come left. to another fork. Both ways have forks. Which way do you go? Right. Right. Okay. B. Make another body check. Make another body save. Why must I die like this? <laughs> Why must I die? Two. All right. Uh, B. How much health do you have? Like four, dude. Four. <laughs> All right. Take one temporary health. Yay. Mm, it's temporary damage, so it can be easily healed. But if it if it hits zero, mm. I anyway, players, I think player characters are fine. I don't know. I'll look up rules. Well, I think it's if you hit zero, you go into dying, and then yeah. you still get saved. I think it works a lot yeah. like with Pathfinder in that way. I think so. Okay. Why do I hear a cat? There's a cat in the vent. Uh, it's cause Marcel. you're high! <laughs> Marcel, you hit a fork. And... Lucky for you, this is the fork. Well, you wouldn't know. Alright, fork. Uh, left is a dead end, right continues on into forks. Then you take a right. Alright. Um, roll stealth real quick. More stealth. <laughs> wow. Nice. Alright, as you're moving along the vent, you get a little bit ahead of yourself and you make a small clink in the vent. God damn the clap of my ass. Jeez. <laughs> it's not loud. <laughs> But you're pretty sure it can be heard from the other... You're pretty sure it can be heard at least directly below you. But you have no time to think about that. you got to keep pressing on. Yeah. All right. So, let me just write that down. Clap of my ass cheeks keeps alerting the guard. God damn it. Snake! Where are you, snake? Naki. Okay, so you're at the you're at the fork. Um, B one make one last body save. Okay. See, B got fucked up by forking. Whoa! Ah. Oh no! Ah. 